then importance of chemistry in everywhere we have discussed in agriculture and food how it is helping in agriculture for fertilizers for uh, nutritional supplement for the plants like in suppose in some soil uh, soil checking is also part of chemistry only uh, some places soil is very acidic some places soil is very basic some places lot of salt is present in uh, soil so the crop will not survive crop will die so what they will do there there will be different techniques to check the soil so soils uh, ph will be checked ph is the range for acidity or basicity will be checked accordingly the nutrients will be added in that soil okay so different places soil will have a different kind of ph like uh, river side soil is different then the sea side soil is different then if you uh, see the black soil is different then the red soil is different like that so different region also some regions are very hot so the soil is very dry some regions are very much wet so the soil is very much wet it has a lot of water so it will not be able to hold any plants plants uh, if you are trying to put it the regular plants it will just die it, the roots will only get uh, uh, decomposed and it will die like that so according to the region you would have seen every region has a different kind of growth of fruit and crop it is not every place in the state in every state every fruit is not growing you would have seen apples for example apples are grown in the cold places so if we try to put apple tree tomorrow we may, may not that tree may not survive we may not get any fruit properly according to the do the business one or two fruits coming is different than the for business tons of fruits are required correct eh? so in cold region in uh, north indian region very high north indian region kashmir and other places it very cold atmosphere the soil is different which can grow that fruit that is why when that fruit comes from there to our place it's become very expensive because traveling and other expenses are also there in that plus cold storage deposition also is there everywhere it has to be preserved properly or else uh, all the way coming from there only the fruit will get Uh, spoiled correct hmm? so agriculture and food just now we have discussed how a uh, condition of a food should be made exactly same so preservatives antioxidants these are the substances which are added in a food it can be pickles tomato ketchup it can be uh, sauces or it can be chocolates or it can be anything you would have seen the expiry date is quite long how by addition of preservatives antioxidants plus stabilizers to keep the uh, condition same in all weather conditions okay it should not be in the winter it should not be hard in summer it should not be runny or liquid so the same condition that is stabilizers stabilizers will be added in that hmm? because your mindset is they they should read the marketing for marketing a person's mindset when they can read they can do best marketing like for example chocolate all of you in your mindset the chocolate when you are opening from the wrapper in any weather condition it should melt in your mouth it should taste the same if the sometimes the taste is changing ki today it is very sweet and tomorrow's chocolate is less sweet then you will say you know that company is not good you will not buy correct so the market has gone as the customer has said like this so definitely so these all the things chemicals which are added so chemistry is very important in food technology food processing food making as well as preserving as well as marketed value shelf life everything should be increased okay hmm? like butter and all will undergo rancid rancid means uh, it will break into aldehydes and ketones and it will start giving foul smell but the marketed butter when you take it is in packet same color even the smell is also same so that is the oxidant uh, antioxidants will be added so oxidation of the butter or oil will not happen that is called rancidity rancidity is foul smelling compound obtained by the oxidation okay similarly uh, you have health and sanitization recently we have passed the covid time different different lockdowns we have faced we have observed it we are using sanitizers we are taking booster doses we are taking vaccines we are taking different kind of medicines to become uh, strong and immune and healthy and all this so this is coming under health so all the medicinal industry depends heavily on chemistry chemistry research chemicals are only combining to formation of that is called pharmaceutical chemistry okay then sanitization its cleaning process 
cleaning any cleaning agent it can be it can be any other cleaning agent detol phenyl or any other cleaning agents or it can be uh, infecticide it can be pesticide it can be any any kind of infection killing any kind of pest killing insects killing any kind of substances are there in the market all are chemicals only okay so chemistry is everywhere saving the environment all of us know for savi saving the environment there are different kind of uh, products are obtained like uh, biodegradable polymers are there bioplastic is there now plastic is the big problem because it is not getting degraded it is not very friendly to environment so they have made plastic as very useful so they have made plastic with the natural material which can get degraded now so now plastic is banned very soon and uh, you are getting bioplastics in the market that can get degraded by the microorganism attack like food is getting degraded so that plastics are made with starch pla glycolic acid all this okay so they are called bioplastics biopolymer even detergents also came in the market like this so many detergents on washing clothes detergent goes from the drain pipe and that goes in the river or water body so that detergents are very harmful all aquatic animal fishes will die because they are surviving with that water and water is getting polluted so if the detergents are biodegradable what will happen when they that kind of fro fro froth or that detergent water is going into the waste water is going into the water that water is it is getting degraded by microorganisms so all this it is helpful for environment lot of research is done then application in industry industry is heavily depends on chemistry only all kind of manufacturing of organic inorganic compound manufacturing as well as for laboratory level for the medicinal purpose for cleaning purpose sanitization cosmetics everything all the industries depends on this particular chemistry only okay hmm. so